If you didn't notice, a few days ago, in one of their live streams, Jenga fans dropped amazing news with the public release of their exciting war simulation software that goes by the name of LiquidGen, and now it is available for anyone to buy. This is a potential new major player in the 3D software industry, which I believe is gonna have the same path as Embergen, which was developed by the same company, especially with the new updates and features that it offers. So let's see what it is all about. Originally announced in 2020, LiquidGen is the long-anticipated counterpart of Embergen, a software that, let's say, revolutionized the 3D industry with its real-time simulation capabilities. And now LiquidGen is finally here to follow its footsteps, hopefully. I don't know how controversial this is, but they are to a certain extent practically the same as to real-time node-based 3D simulation software, except that instead of fire and smoke, LiquidGen, as the name suggests, is gonna be for liquids. As a little context, this public release also marks the 0.3 iteration of the software, with many additions, such as white water simulation and surface tension, as well as overhauls of the software's rasterization renderer and switching from a pick to a pick slash flip solver. And this marks a huge leap for the software, for example, whitewater systems can allow you now to generate three types of whitewater particles, which are spray, foam, and bubbles, and the cherry on top being exportable separately from those of the liquid itself. And the pick slash flip solver is a method that is used by many offline simulation tools, starting with Houdini, which is arguably the best software in the simulation business. As a bottom line, they are very efficient solutions for real-time scenarios, while still achieving incredible level of photorealism, which is needed in the industry. Besides, LiquidGen now supports surface tension for more accurate liquid splashes, and it also has refraction and transmission color if you are using rasterized rendering. Overall, the simulation and performance quality were also improved, as they have even improved the maximum particle count, in addition to improving meshing and volume conversation, and many many other features. As a side note, LiquidGen's force nodes now, on par with Embergen, thanks to the new line force, force nodes, and the reworked turbulence node. Also, unlike other visual effects packages in the industry, LiquidGen can generate game ready, fully assembled flipbooks in seconds with Alembic exports and numerous passes with ease. From that, we can clearly see that the software is gonna be great. However, a classic question you would hear from many artists is that, while these features are highly impressive, why bother when Houdini can do the same thing? And you know what? They've got a point. But here's the thing. It really comes down to what you need and the artists in charge. Traditionally speaking, liquid simulations have always been notoriously difficult to create due to the complex knowledge it required and the time needed to render and bake the results. I'm not saying LiquidGen is gonna be a walk in the park either, but with its easy user interface derived from EmberGen and the ability to create amazing results from just a small node graph, the software offers a very friendly environment, I would say, to all artists of all different levels to create different simulations of all kinds, such as blood, ketchup, slime, or anything else in between. And the best part is gonna be in real time. So it will take as much time and hardware resources and it's gonna be easier to export for the same reason. Besides, it offers an excellent level of customization and you can adjust the simulations at any time you want, however you want. Okay, that's great and everything, but let's now talk about dollars and cents, and how much you can get this, I mean this new piece of software. To buy LiquidGen, all you have to do is hit up the JungaFX website, and then you can pick from one of their many licenses, depending on whether you are an indie creator, studio, or enterprise, or even for education purposes. But I guess most of you guys are looking at indie licenses, and you've got two ways. For artists earning less than a million dollars a year, you can buy the current software for $300 for the first year, and then $150 for the annual maintenance, which also comes with a year of included updates. Or if you prefer the standard subscription-based approach, it's gonna be $20 per month, with access to permanent ownership after 18 months of consecutive payments as well as updates throughout the subscription period. It also offers a 14-day trial, and you can save the project and continue learning after the trial has expired. But you must purchase a license if you want to export something and use it commercially. 
You should also check the system requirements before you buy anything. And generally speaking, I think the software is gonna be a great return on your money, especially in today's market. And especially if you are a professional in the field, because I believe it's gonna be a good investment. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more news like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.